Question 13. Laura chooses a number less than 20. She divides it by 2 and then adds 6. She then divides this result by 3. Her answer is 4.5. What number did she start with? The way I always suggest to do these is to use a number machine. So, she's choosing a mystery number. Okay, so we don't know what the number is, so it's a mystery number. Always start your number machine with a question mark to indicate that mystery number. Now, on a series of arrows, we're going to describe what she's doing to that mystery number. So, the first thing she does, she divides it by 2. So, on the first arrow, let's put divide by 2. Then, she's adding 6. Second arrow, add 6. This number machine is just describing what she's doing to the mystery number. Then she divides the results so far by 3, so we need another arrow with divide by 3 on it. Her answer is 4.5. All this means is that the end of the number machine pops 4.5. What was the number she started with? Now what we're going to have to do now is start with a 4.5 and work backwards to get back to the mystery number, which is this question mark here. Now when we work backwards, we do the opposite of what's on the arrows because that's how you work backwards, that's how you do the opposite, go in the opposite direction. So if we start with 4.5, we need to divide that by 3. So we can use the space down here to do some working out. So 4.5 divided by 3. But hang on a minute, that's not the opposite. You've got to do the opposite. So the opposite of divide by 3 is times 3. 4.5 times 3, that's what we need to do. So here we go. Be very careful that you don't just do the same as what's on the arrow going this way. Because, because you're going backwards, you've got to do the opposite. So 4.5 times 3. 3 times 5 is 15, put the 5 in, carry the 1. And 3 times 4 is 12, plus the 1 is 13. Remember your decimal point. So, 4.5 times 3 is 13.5. Next job, we need to do the opposite of add 6, which is subtract 6. So 13.5 subtract 6. Well, 13 take away 6 would be 7. You can do that in your head. So if 13 take away 6 is 7, 13.5, which is 0.5 more than 13, take away the 6, is going to be 0.5 more than this answer, that's going to be 7.5. So if 13 take away 6 is 7, so 13.5 take away 6 is 7.5. So so far we're on 7.5. Last job, we've got to do the opposite of this divide by 2. And we're going the other way. So the opposite of divide by 2 is times 2. So so far we're on 7.5 and we need to times that by 2. So 7.5 times 2, you probably do that in your head. Most of you probably do it already. It's 15, well, let's just double check. 2, 5 to 10, put a 0 in, carry the 1. 2, 7 is 14, plus the 1 is 15, put your decimal point in, it's 15. So your final answer, you've got back to the beginning, once you've got the answer in the question marks, that is the mystery number that we started with. So the answer is 15, and that is the answer that needs to go in the answer box. You should always double check by going back to the question mark, replacing it with a 15, and seeing if it works well. 15 divided by 2 is 7.5, 7.5 add 6 is 13.5, and 13.5 divided by 3 is 4.5. So we do a quick bush shelf so you can check that. So 13.5 divided by 3, 3 is into 1 and 1 go, but you haven't used the 1 yet. 3 is into 13 goes 4 times, and 3 4 is 12. So to get up to 13, there's one remainder, so carry your one remainder to the next column. That now makes 15. 3 to 15 gives 5 times. Put your decimal point in, it's 4.5. So it does work, so the mystery number must be 15. We can even tick that ourselves because we've just checked it.